What's up guys? Alright, so this week the scenario is in Singapore and the objective is to finish an 8th or higher. And we're Logan Sargent and we're in the Williams. So let's get into it. So we're going to see right off the bat that our hards are very worn. They're almost at 50% and the grip's not going to be good. So this first lap you're going to want to drain your battery. Just get rid of it all, complete this lap as fast as you can and try to, try to complete it cleanly. Um, because you're going to be pitting at the end of this lap and you're going to be slapping on a set of fresh softs. So you want to take this lap, you want, it, you want to take it cautious. You don't want to get damage obviously because that's going to impact your score. So you want to be careful but you want to be quick at the same time. So I'm not going to talk through this whole thing but I'm going to give my, give my input here and there. So we're going to complete this lap, try to do it as fast as we can on the tires that we're on and you'll notice that there's very little grip and it ain't fun. And also another thing that we're going to notice is we're very low on fuel. So one thing that we're going to have to do during this event is we're going to have to lift and coast. There's no there's no if ands or buts about it. You're going to have to do it. Otherwise, you're going to run out of fuel and the time, the score is going to is going to suffer. So this here, if you're quick enough, you can just go full beans into the pit before this timer runs down. You're going to see that we're just going to make it by three, okay. I think three tenths are going to be left on the clock. Okay, out of this race. Yeah, oh, four tenths. So we just make it. All right, so we're going to come in now. We're going to pit for fresh softs. And the quicker you do this in lap, we did a 40.8. That's going to potentially allow us to get ahead of one or two of these cars that are coming around the last turn right now. And that's pretty crucial. If you can get ahead of one of them, that's, that's a big deal because they're going to hold you up if you get behind them. And you don't want that. You're on fresh tires, you want to just balls to the wall, you want to just give her. So we're going to, and you don't want to cross that line right there because you're going to get a warning and it's going to impact your score. So we do get out, we do get out ahead of one of them. Now we're behind De DeVries um, and Alpha Tori. So we're going to try to just get ahead of him as quick as we can. We're going to activate the DRS and we're going to, we're going to hit the overtake and just drain it. So he's, he's fighting, he's battling, so we're going to just send it around the outside and we're going to keep it in the track limits, which is good. All right, and that move is done, so that's good. So we've got some clean air now. We've, we've got a lot of clean air and we just need to put in those laps right now. So that's what we're going to focus on doing. As you can see, our battery's pretty low, but it, it doesn't really matter because like I said, we have to lift and coast for most of these laps in certain areas of the track which I'll show you when I do it. So right now I'm basically just focusing on putting in clean laps, not making any mistakes, not losing traction, not hitting a wall, staying on the track. That's that's what we're focused on right now. Um, eventually we're going to come up to two more cars that we have to overtake and we'll talk about that when we get to them. As you can see it's going to be Magnuson and Alonzo and they're both on softs but they're gonna be on used soft so it it won't be very hard to get past them alright so this lap here it's gonna be a 154.022 uh, two purple sectors uh, middle and the last so as I said before we're just gonna focus on putting in good laps right now um, less mistakes the better obviously the quicker you do your laps the higher your score is gonna be and you don't want to get any uh, track warnings or, or anything like that because that's going to impact your score. So Magnuson is five seconds ahead of us right now and we're on lap 56 to 62. So we're just still focusing. Got a first uh, purple first sector right there. Just focusing, putting, putting in the laps, putting in good times, trying to be consistent. That's how you're going to get a good score here. So we're, we're gaining on him pretty fast. We've already gained a second in, I don't even, half half a sector. Um, and our fuel is pretty much even right now. Um, ideally, you want to not have it go any lower than 0 0.04. That's kind of where you want to try to keep it above. Um, later in the laps, you're going to see me lift and coast a lot more in certain areas. This will be one of them right here. Um, all right, so as you can see, we're catching Magnuson pretty fast. 
few seconds on that lap alone. And this lap is going to be a 131.7. I think that's going to be our best lap of the of the of the session. Um, we're limited on battery, and, and the fuel's just too low. I think to beat it. So we're coming up to Magnuson now. We're just going to miss out on DRS here, which kind of sucks because obviously it would have gained us a little bit of time, but it's not the end of the world. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to overtake Magnuson and not lose time while we do it, which can be difficult because you never know what the AI is going to do. So here we're going to go, we're going to go on the inside of them here and force them out and we make the move and we <laughs> just missed the wall. So that was, that was key not to hit that wall because that would have screwed up the whole run. So once again, we're in fresh air and we're just focused on putting in, putting in good sectors, putting in good lap times right now until we catch Alonzo. And he's seven seconds ahead right now and we still have five or six laps left to do. So it should be pretty easy to catch him. And this is 110 AI. Um, they're, not, they're not the greatest at Singapore. They've never been in my experience uh, in any game really. But when you have a huge tire difference like this, it definitely helps out. So you can see our fuel is still even. Uh, trying to keep it even, obviously. You want to push, but you have to. You got to you got to lift and coast because if you don't, you're not gonna you're gonna run out of fuel on the last lap, and you're gonna go into low fuel mode, and you're gonna lose a whack load of time, and that's just gonna kill the score. So we don't want to do that. So. We're three seconds behind, 3.9 behind Alonzo right now. As you can see, we're catching him big time, very, very fast. Um, so I think we're going to probably get him probably on the next lap. It's probably when we're going to catch him. Um, so we'll see. I don't remember, but we'll see. So right now, we're just focused on putting in the laps, just keeping it clean, getting good traction out of the corners, and obviously not hitting those walls. We're getting close a few times, but... That makes it fun. Alright, so we're 1.9 behind him now. We're catching him pretty fast. Might even catch him at the end of this lap. Alright, so we're not going to get DRS here, but that's alright. We don't need it. So we're coming up here, and we're going to lift and coast there. That's one of the turns where you're going to have to lift and coast. Um, and this, this one coming up too, I lift and coast here, I think on every lap. Not a lot, but just enough to try to keep it at zero or just 0 0.01. So we're, we're right up behind Alonzo now, and this is, we're gonna go down the inside. So that was, that was a move. Um, so that's good. That didn't really cost us any time at all. So now we're basically just, uh, we're free to just put in the laps until the event's over, until lap 62. So our main focus right now is just consume fuel, lift and coast in certain areas, and just keep it clean. Keep it out of the walls, which is close there. Uh, keep it out of the walls and just, you know, use a bit of battery here and there. We don't have much, obviously, as you can see, I'm at 2% right now. Um, but it doesn't really affect it that much, because like I said, you're going to lift and coast and you're going to save a bit by doing it, but use a bit here and there on some of the straights and it makes up, makes up the difference. So we're on lap 59 right now, and we're in 8th, so we've already completed the, the objective. We just need to make it to the finish line now as fast as we can, and uh, hope that we get a good score. So the end of this straight here is where we're going to lift and coast. I believe you're going to see me do this for the next few laps. We're going to lift off. And it just, it helps. It, it saves maybe, you know, even if it's 0.01 of fuel, it's going to help because we're trying to keep it around that 0.04 mark. Is, is Like I said, you don't want it to go above that. So we've been doing a good job. We've been at about 0.03, 0 0.02. Um, you're coming around here to last turn, you're at 0 0.02. So that's not bad. So this lap is going to be a 32.0. And we're on lap 60 now. We're just gonna try to keep her clean, try to be consistent, put in good lap times, and conserve that fuel. That's uh, that's what this event is about. 
you have to lift and coast. If you don't, you're you're not going to do well. You're going to lose a whack load of time on the last lap. And then your score is going to suffer. So that's probably the most important thing about this event is you're going to have to lift and coast. And it's a good thing to learn because if you ever find yourself in a league race and you're you got no fuel, you're going to have to learn to do it and you're going to have to learn to do it without losing a lot of time as well. So I think even here I lift off just ever so slightly too in this turn. Um, like I said, every little tiny bit will help. Coming down here again, I'll, I'll lift off and coast to the turn. We're at 0 0.03 right now. And we lift off. And by the time we're through the apex, we're at 0 0.01, but back up to 2, 3. And we're going to lift and coast coming into the chicane here. And it'll be about the same thing. It'll go down to goes down to one yeah so that's that's what you want to you want to keep it right around there that's kind of the goal first time I did this event I wasn't even really paying attention to it and I I ran on low fuel mode at basically the beginning of sector three and I lost a whole bunch of time so I realized very quickly you, what, what you had to do and it was it's kind of cool I haven't really you don't get a lot of events like these where you're forced to do something other than just drive as fast as you can. Um, so it's good. It's a good, uh, it's a good different event. Keeps you on your toes. So lap 61 now. And like I said, we're just trying to be consistent, not make any mistakes. Keep it out of the walls is the main thing because you get damage. You might as well just start over. So our fuel right now, we're at 0, 2, 0, 1. We're keeping it steady there, which is good. That's what we want to do. That's that's kind of the goal of what you want to do, is you want to watch your fuel. You want to lift and coast. Obviously, you want to get ahead of all the cars you're supposed to pass. And then you can really just kind of focus on your laps and where you're going to lift and coast. And that's that's kind of that's kind of what you got to do. There's really nothing else to it, but. Uh, Overtake the AI, do it cleanly, uh, don't crash into them obviously because if you get a, a, a warning for a collision or anything that's also going to affect your score so you don't want to do that. If that happens, start over. So this lap here is going to be 32.4, so we're fairly consistent within half a, half a second each lap. Uh, so that's, that's good. I haven't been paying attention to all of them, but I know we had a couple 32 zeros, and that's 32.4, so, you know, within four tenths of a lap, as the tires are wearing a little bit, it's not too bad. So, last lap here, you want to obviously push, but like I said, you want to conserve the fuel too, so you don't run out. That's, that's what you don't want to do here on this last lap, is you don't want to run out into low fuel mode. The later you do it, the better. Preferably when you're crossing the finish line is when you want it to happen. I think in this run you're going to see right when I cross the finish line I'm just running out of it so I do lose maybe a tenth uh, overall but it's it's not that big of a deal. So right here we're at 0 0.021 coming around the turn we're at even so at the end of this turn I'm going to lift and coast because I need to. So we go down to zero but back up to one. And basically this last turn coming up into the chicane is when I'm going to, my, my last lift and coast will be. We're at 0 0.03. I'm going to lift off. I'm going to coast into this corner. I'm at, I'm at even. And now I'm just going to push and hope for the best. Hope I don't run out. So we're coming to the last turn. And right about here is when it slows me down. So it's not that big of a deal. I didn't lose that much time. It was still a, a 32, I think 7. Um... You'll see the lap times after here. We'll have a look at those, and we'll be able to see exactly what it was. So this was my third run. My third run at this, and it's going to be my last. I'm not going to do it again. The first one, like I said, I just went full speed, ran out of fuel. It was, <laughs> it was a waste of time. And I did another session, and I beat, this, I beat that score by about 500 points. So this was my best run. 
So this is one we're gonna we're gonna leave with and just let it roll, let it fly. If somebody beats it, good for you. Um, I am first place right now on PlayStation, uh, so that's good, obviously. So here's my lap times. Uh, so 32, 1, 2, 4, 2, 0, 2, 0. Didn't catch what the last lap was there. So our score is 277, 716. And I think at the time of this, the next closest score is 271. And there'll be other people that will will do the event, and I'm sure there's there's going to be people that will beat my score, because there's a lot of good players on it. But the main thing is lift and coast in this, and try to keep it clean, stay out of the walls, overtake the AI in in a good spot so you don't lose time. All right. So thanks for watching, guys, and if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.